hey hello friend my name is chandramani and welcome back to the series and uh, this is the uh, fifth part of this series that is active directory migrations we are implementing uh, active directory migration in windows server 2016 which is the latest version of microsoft okay so uh, we have performed something like in last video what we did in last video that we have joined the member server in source domain created some groups right or not created i think we didn't create okay uh, we have created service account we have created to sql admin account and make the member of the domain admin and created 4000 user also and install the sql express in 2012 members so that we will need to create as well as the some groups we will create on the uh, source domain to migrate okay and these things also we will perform here because uh, from here the first catalog we have done all these things also we have understood the environment uh, for the practice and now we are performing the activity okay these are the many things we will do here so let's look but guys do not forget to subscribe my channel again i am reminding you please subscribe my channel please uh, in the besides of subscribe button there is a bell button please click over there you will get the automatic notification on your mailbox whenever i upload my new videos you will get automatically on your mailbox please please you should you you please uh, subscribe my channel and give us comment shares everything if you want to share my video to your friends you can share it okay uh, let's let's go to the, my lab okay so let's refresh it yeah it is loading i think it has been created no, it's still you know creating no problem go to this member server we will install the sql here login with the local admin i told you right even though it is member of source domain that's fine let's log in and uh, uh, let uh, create uh, yeah yeah see i told you right this 2000 user uh, can be seen and automatically you know like here but uh, 258 86 items in user folder were uh, retrieved from the view menu okay but you can display it but not an issue this is the message like at a time you can see the 2000 user i told you right and here what i will do like go to the here and uh, i have created these things but i didn't create the group right let me create some group here also new group uh, so I'm going to create global group. So what I will do here GL is fine GL underscore group That means it's a global group Okay, and now I will create here one uh, universal group same thing go to the group and choose the universal and for that UN that's fine and underscore sorry i did it wrong universal underscore group that's fine so we have to group also created okay uh, now we go to the member server right we need to install sql if you look at the local server Uh, it is uh, oh, it's still loading. Yeah, it's member of source domain, right? So what I will do here, I will uh, go to setting here uh, and go to the options, and I will uh, share this folder. Add next browse Active Directory migration. That's fine. Okay, map the folder. Uh, guys sql uh, for the sql you can like uh, download sql from uh, microsoft site if you here you can type here like uh, sql express uh, 2012 okay Here we can download okay SQL 2012 you need to be download see I have a setup here uh, let's I, I have uh, mapped right let's uh, open this thing 
open the folder option here I don't know why it is taking time yeah go to the PC and here I will go to the share folder active direct migration I have uh, here okay this is the school setup what I will do it copy it and I go to here and go to the C drive here I will create one folder it's called data okay that's fine I will copy this uh, school setup here and done it okay run the school setup it will extracting all the file it will make a folder in C drive if you look at here it's showing to the directory it is creating the folder with this name and once it extracted it will start the installation okay meanwhile what I will uh, these things we have done right now uh, go to the target domain here okay okay let's log in uh, open the user and computers Yeah, still it is extracting it's fine and the target domain uh, we will uh, you know create some OU here it will help us while migrating so oh, I will create some OU new organizational unit what I will do uh, migrate users from source fine okay now again I will create here migrate computers from source migrate service account from source that's fine okay so uh, user accounts we will migrate we can migrate uh, computer account and service account that's fine uh, okay let's go to the source member of yeah so if you look at its uh, installation has been started so here you just click standalone installation and uh, it, it will take some time uh, but anyway we will start the installation and uh, remember I have created service icon for this uh, what is the name SQL underscore SVC right okay while installation it is required yeah it is started the installation I think you people might have worked in SQL yeah uh, just accept the license term here and do the next okay remove this checkbox otherwise it will take to the online unnecessary it will show the error because I don't want to need any updates now it's my test left so let's do the next okay but in real environment you can choose that checkbox to getting updates from the internet but you if you don't have internet on where you set up you you couldn't get uh, the you uh, know uh, the updates better to un uncheck it yeah uh, it is you know making the you know uh, it, it has started the installation but making it ready for you it will take some time it will show some options to you which uh, stops need to be installed here so till the time we have to wait okay uh, for that let's go with the document also uh, what we did here uh, create some group like we have created universal group and global group also and uh, 
install the SQL Express and members of now it is going okay this parts not done okay so uh, go to the lab here let's see whether it is uh, still it is in progress let's do one thing and source to mine so we have a uh, two group right it's global group and uh, um, uh, universal group right let's do one thing we have created some user what I will do here from here like some user you know make go to the properties and add uh, you know uh, account sorry I think I did some wrong properties no I did I, I did strong here uh, oh sorry uh, you go to here yeah global group go to the members eight and uh, go to the advanced here and put some users uh, what I will do here I will take some few users to to the member of so it will help us to at the time of migration to understand if when we migrate to users and user is member of the some group whether it is migrated or not the group also so that we will check it here okay okay that's fine apply and okay and we will some universal group also go to the properties and members you, we can add some users uh, for universal group also that's fine now and okay uh, let's take some users here okay let's take uh, this okay and do the okay and okay apply okay now if we check it uh, global group yes there's some users the member of the global group as well as some users member of the universal group that's fine let's go to the source domain yeah see these options is needed so it's fine do the next and uh, yeah it will taking you know long time you know uh, I mean it will take definitely will take time to install the SQL because it's a database yeah it's it yeah now you can uh, change the SQL uh, uh, instance name also others let it be no problem for odds okay it's fine and the instance root directory is here okay that's fine also and do the next here it will you know check all the disk requirement uh, disk space requirement whether it is available or not it will check and uh, uh, it will come to the next uh, option fine that's what it's showing green and it's coming to the next phase yeah here we can use the service account so click over here go to the browse uh, what is the service account name it's a uh, SQL SVC go to here and uh, such like SQL underscore SVC this is a service account yeah uh, get the username and password that's fine yeah it is required and put the password here also if you're not given the password it won't take it will get the error okay yeah uh, so you can add uh, another account like uh, we have created a SQL administrator account right let's go to the source admin what are the two account we have created be SQL admin and SQL admin right okay I'm sorry yeah here what I will do B underscore SQL admin and SQL admin okay and these two groups is member of domain admin you remember 
even though if you are adding this you know as a SQL administrator that should be a member of domain admin okay I don't need click the next it will start you know uh, it will check all the prerequisites I think then it will start the installation yeah it has started okay uh, definitely it will take time okay so let's go here uh, source domain yeah see it it has been uh, like completed now we get the next prompt here so that's why it's completed okay 4000 user has been created and we put it the member everything is done here okay what I will do here before migrate the you know, production users what I will do uh, why not we will do some test user and first we will migrate test user then you know uh, migrate uh, you know production users it is better right so uh, I can uh, use one test okay test one creative one is test one for the testing for first we'll migrate this user once it's success then we will go ahead for the production and right so give the password here and this option just remove it okay but most important thing you know what so while you migrating the user whatever the password is having the user that should also migrate it for that we have a tool also that need to be ex installed here and the you need to export the key also that is called a PAC key that I will explain in a later video while installing this uh, uh, feature and while installing the ADMT tool on the target okay let's uh, yeah you see it has started the installation uh, definitely it will take time you know to complete the installation but what I will do here I should I couldn't wait here to you know till uh, to install entire things so I, I just pause my video I will come back to you when the installation is success uh, the screen will come the installation has been done okay so thanks for watching this video and guys do not forget to subscribe my channel because of you know if, if you can't support me I cannot grow up my channel so requesting you to please subscribe my channel as well as uh, uh, give like and you can put in comment if you have any questions till that time you can uh, write and comment so definitely I will give you answer if you want any training also uh, if you want any and you know, other parts and training also you can put in comment so if possible then definitely I will arrange that training also for you so thanks thanks for watching this video and do not for, uh, forget to subscribe my channel I will come back to you once installation is done okay so till the time bye bye